Hello, hello. My name is Jenna. Don't worry, I washed my hands. <laughs> I know I just did that. And uh, I teach second grade and I'm figuring out how to teach digitally. And I wanted to share that with you in hopes that you would share with me successes that are working for you. So first, um, I'm going to go through the steps that I found to be beneficial to concentrate on when building your digital class time. But then at the very end of this video, um, I'm going to share with you the exact specifications of what that looks like in my own classroom. So the first thing wah, 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 uh, is format. So I like to do live instruction and I'm part of an amazing team. Ooh, you got a peek. I'm part of an amazing team, and I will put her link down below. Her name is um, Mrs. Schneider, and she's part of my team, and she does the best videos that are recorded for kids. So I do the live, and she does recorded. It is a match made in heaven. The next thing is your schedule. You really want to be able to predict some, something predictable and manageable. Uh, if your district doesn't have... M a bunch of expectations you know be generous with yourself um, and you want to have this to be something that's repeatable every day in fact I use the same links so that um, parents who you know might want to rush can just click it click and there they are so keeping your schedule the same and then repeating lessons we do the same thing over and 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 over I don't edit, so sometimes I want to insert my own whoosh sound effects. And the lessons that I have found to be the most constructive are these into, through, and beyond lessons that, um, you know, I learned about when I was in credential school. And I used it. It, it fits in really well with all of the different ideas, no matter what, even flipped instruction, whatever kind of instruction. It's the idea that you explain to the kids what they're going to do, and then you have guidance that you have through the activity, and then there was a beyond piece. So let me give you a really quick example. Uh, today, we watched a video on the four life stages of butterflies. And then I told the students that I would, and first we did a what do you know about butterflies where I was able to use, I use Google Meet, and um, I was able to pin each kid so they could answer what they already knew about butterflies. And then we learned about the four life stages, and then we all repeated the four life stages. And then the beyond was go outside. If you see a butterfly, take a picture. If you don't, um, you can look up how to draw a butterfly. What are some different parts of a butterfly's body? And then I'll use that information to start tomorrow's conversation about the anatomy of the adult butterfly. So that's that into, through, and beyond. It seems to work really well as a strategy. And then here's my lesson loops. This is what I do every day. We do a class meeting, calendar, phonics, um, bonus time, and then because we do something different every day of during that week like on Monday we do some kind of sciencey thing and then on Tuesdays we do go noodle Wednesdays we draw together and so we'll draw butterflies this week and then on Thursdays we wear pajamas and we have a dance party so at the end of the video I will take you through what my uh, lesson loop looks like um, by showing you my Google slide because when we go back to that format, ooh, that says Jenna. When I go back to this format one, ooh, ooh there we go. Yeah, very professional. I know, I know, it's all high tech around here. That's how I roll. Um, the format I use is live, and I use Google Meet, and I use kind of a hack. I have to use a second screen as the presenter so that I can see the kids during it. But that's format choices and there's so many out there. Um, you're going to really want to what 
fit what, what works for you. And then at the end of the session, I always like to have some time for data. I like to put in my teacher bullet journal who showed up, uh, what did we go over, if I have conferences with families and I have a booking system for parents so they can just book me automatically and I just kind of show up um, digitally. But you know, this was just kind of, I just wanted to share with you the quick ways that I make sense of this new teaching frontier kind of thing and you know, you're awesome. Hang out for the next bit if you're curious about what that looks like. Um, but before I do, let me do a quick summary, which is you're going to have to choose the format. How do you want to teach? How do you want that delivery to be done? It doesn't have to be video. Create a schedule that you and the kids can both predict. Um, for littles, I suggest focusing on repeating lessons. Edu Protocols is a great place to look. Um, I'll put their link down below too. Uh, when you're building lessons and if you get overwhelmed like I do, really go to this basic into, through, and beyond. What do you know about butterflies? We watched a video on butterflies. Now go draw some butterflies or take pictures. That was the beyond piece. And then um, make sure you have a lesson loop that you understand with those repeated lessons. And then, of course, take time to really dig into the data. You worked hard for it. So you worked hard for that data. So hard for the data. Don't judge me, Ioni. My dog's judging me. All right, so hang out. I'm going to um, add to this the next part of the video. What an old lady thing to do. I could have just said bye. Bye. Hello, it's me, Jenna. I made these things. I'm going to get the most use out of them. But you are awesome. That's not me getting the use out of anything. That's just, you know, telling you like it is. So in my last little video, I talked about um, how I found the, the best steps for organizing how you're going to do your digital stuffies, stuffies, your digital class. And here is my lesson loop that I mentioned, and I thought I would just take you through it. So this, um, the kids are practicing muting themselves. Uh, that name under quizzes is not real, so I'm not divulging anything. And I give daily rewards uh, that go into Class Dojo based on Lexi and Prodigy. Um, it's a way to uh, keep the kids who are showing up really excited. And, you know, Dojo points are something that I can give for anything. And so it's nice. Then we have our song that we sing every day. We go over how to engage during the lesson. We go over some life lessons that we've learned. Um, and then we do something different every day at 1030. So I kind of go over that. And then so the very first thing here is class meeting. And I pin each kid in Google Meet one at a time. And they talk about their feelings. Then we go through calendar. What I like about this is that I have a sentence frame at the top. The next shape is because. And kids can use that to guess the next shape. And when they're ready, they give me the signal. That's why that thumb is there. And then it tells me the next shape. And that high five is the self high five. I'm starting to use icons as ways of doing shorthand. Um, then we sing our songs, which I didn't put down because I had to pay for them and I don't want to like share them and get in trouble. So then we do something phonics where I just choose a couple word families and we go over and they they use the chat to type out as many words as they can. Um, they draw words, they research words, we talk about uh, word parts. And then at 1030, we have something we do different every day. On Mondays, we do a science activity. That's why we did the um, butterfly thing I talked about in the other video. And then um, after we do, and like on Tuesdays, we do go noodle. And on Wednesdays, we do, um, oh, we all, you do kids art hub. Oh, which reminds me, I should say, these slides came directly from the tutorial by Pocket Full of Primary, and I'll put her link down below. Um, I used slides like these, but I didn't make them look as nice and clean and crisp until I watched her video. So then um, this is anything I want to add that's special. Congratulating a student who did an extra um, hard 
task, uh, talk about epic, and then we sing our goodbye song, and that's it. So that is my lesson loop, and I basically use the same thing every day. So if you have um, something you want to share, your ideas, I'd love to hear them. If you have questions, let me know. Yeah. Bye, guys.